Halo Infinite's population is on the resurgence. We see on Xbox's most played games for North America, Halo Infinite has now cracked the top 15, just behind games like Grand Theft Auto Online and Destiny 2. We can see on the infamous Steam charts that we had a base population right here of last month, right around 3,000 players on average. He can current count last month just under 7,000, but now with the recent Season 5 update, we had a new peak population count of 18,000 players, which we haven't had that much since May of 2022, back when Season 2 released. For comparison, where Halo Infinite was earlier in the US, it jumped from 27th to now we're up at the 15th most played location in the US. In the UK, it went from 42nd to 24th, and also in Australia, it went from 34th to 20th. So everywhere around the world, there's been a population boost of Halo Infinite. This is great and all, but the biggest questionnaire, which has been the biggest issue with Halo Infinite since the launch of the game, is the updates. What's going to be coming to Halo Infinite beyond just their initial release of season five but well, it seems like 343 has some pretty good plans lined up the big thing is going to be operations with season five no longer are going to be events those are gone now we're going to be replaced with operations which if you guys don't know operations are going to be things that will be lasting within halo for about four to six weeks as stated by 343 each operation will feature 20 tier reward for a track that you can play for free nothing paid for on that one you can play what you want so you don't have to deal with challenges even in custom games you will be able to make progression though 343 did state that there is be a premium upgrade for each one of these operations where 500 credits includes a special instant unlock bonus cosmetic or if you just wanted to buy the whole thing outright it's 2000 credits plus you get the cool new unlockable the first operation for season five is going to be combined arms which begins on november 14th that's great and all but why should i play was there going to be anything new to do when it comes to these operations well at least know for combined arms that's a big yes and for your classic halo fans you're gonna like this we'll have halo 3 re Field, which brings a bunch of classic maps into Halo Infinite, as well as a brand new one. We'll have Blackout coming, which is much more of a lockout style kind of map. We're going to have High Ground, we're going to have Narrows, we're going to have Isolation, we're also going to have Guardian mixed in on top of that as well construct as well as the pit we also get one brand new map we never played before and that's critical dew point created by forger arthur bloodshot 343 did a very similar thing back in halo 5 they had a classic halo 3 playlist which had you like with a battle rifle star with classic movement as well which is a big change right there i wonder if we'll see anything like that when it comes to the refueled playlist coming in on november 14th it definitely would be a really interesting way to mix up the gameplay a little bit so you're not playing the same thing over and over again but i think actually that halo infinite's gameplay is so good that you probably don't want to mess with that and bringing back these classic maps you probably want to play with like the new movement sets the new equipment things like that to re-experience these maps in a whole new way some of these maps are also going to be reimagination so there's probably going to be sprint there's probably going to be utilizing the equipment and all the sandbox that halo infinite has to offer but on these classic halo 3 maps but of course once we get some more information about the refill playlist and the little details about that and also how these maps are going to play out I'll share with you guys here on the channel though i'm sure the biggest question people are asking right now when it comes to season five of halo infinite is where is firefight before they really hyped up this mode to come in during season five and well season five is here and we don't have a chance to play it now you can play within custom games in some kind of way but really most people are just going to wait until there's like a matchmaking version of it which you will be able to choose your difficulty which can be really nice when it comes to the matchmaking for firefight and it's going to be king of the hill variant as well so it's not going to just be people staying around just slaying things there will be an objective thrown on top of this my assumption is that firefight will be coming at the december update for the winter contingency 3 operation as they'll give players a new cool thing to play around with as the winter break that 343 does every year comes around this is also where i think we will see the new equipment coming in with season five as in the repair field as we covered in a previous video the repair field not only repairs spartan's health but also repairs vehicles within its area of effect now you're playing firefight king of the hill which puts a lot of players into one specific location will also be a great way to help boost your team's abilities by having an area of an effect that helps keep your players healed up on the hill to me, that makes a lot of sense to release that at the same time. And when the firefight does come into Halo Infinite, it will feature nine maps, including the House of Reckoning, a brand new section ripped from the campaign, put into the multiplayer side of things. So we have these major updates coming, which is going to be a fantastic, nice boost to the population here. But what's 343 going to do in between these major beats? One thing 343 could definitely do is bring back some maps and modes that have been put aside that I haven't seen in a while. 
One mode in particular I would love to see come back is Last Spartan Standing. Even though we know that it was by far the least played mode in Halo Infinite, I think there's some potential there that really have it pop off. Last time mentioned by 343 was Michael Shore, the head of the playlist, and also Forge mainly over at 343 saying that Last Spartan Standing has not been abandoned and they are working on some improvements to the mode. I think the biggest improvement 343 could make to have Last Barn Standing have a much healthier pl player population would be to make it duos, maybe in trios, or even quads, maybe if you want to go that far. I feel like this was 343 dipping a toe into the Battle Royale side of things to see if people really enjoyed it. And from my experience, what people thought about the mode, they liked it a lot. It was just maybe a little redundant with the loadouts that you would receive and also playing on the same kind of maps over and over again. We've moved pretty far forward when it comes to the development of Halo Infinite, where we could probably even do Forge maps on there. Probably rework some of the spawns and some of the BTB maps as well. I mean, people want to see what a Battle Royale-like mode would play out in Halo Infinite. We recently saw the Forge Falcons release a 2.5 update to their Battle Royale mode, which I made a video on if you guys want to check it out. Well, it's here on the channel. And even Jack Frags made a video about this Halo Battle Royale. Another thing that could be new to Halo Infinite would be bringing back Action Sack. And the last time we saw Action Sack actually mentioned was just over a year ago back on October 11th where Zach Boyce who is no longer with 343 is part of the right team over at Valorant though he did say that they have a different idea for action sack particularly when we start getting our hands on the wild stuff the community is making within Forge. Of course this was a year ago things have definitely changed a lot since then he's no longer on the team when it comes to this possible update but the community is still making amazing stuff that we could see possibly in an action sack type playlist and just seeing that would just play off of nostalgia, which I think is the biggest thing 343 could do right now, is just play off of the nostalgia and the rose to the glasses people have for the classic modes. My last suggestion, which I do believe is still in the works right now for 343, is a community BTB playlist. The last time we heard anything about this was back on June 29th of this year, and in reply to Duquesne 23, talking about Forge maps coming into BTB, saying that yes, community BTB maps will make it into matchmaking, but I don't have an ETA for you at the moment. This was a little over a few months ago, which would be amazing to see the BTB map pool, pool expand a lot more. I think this is what's greatly needed for that mode because only having, I believe, the four maps right now in BTB, it can get a little redundant. Might have to make your own separate community playlist for BTB, which I'd rather just see those get thrown right into the mix of just BTB in general. Especially since we didn't get a new BTB map with the release of season five. So some form of a refresh when it comes to that mode would be greatly appreciated within one of the most popular modes ever created in Halo. With the release of season five, 343 has created a lot of positive momentum for Halo Infinite. And if we keep up this trajectory, we could see a major comeback for this game which would then be overall a huge positive to the franchise as a whole, which would get me very happy. But let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see come into Halo Infinite. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.